Hello, Pisces. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate your time, that I do. Appreciate all your support. Thank you, my friends. Uh, appreciate you reaching out, hitting that old like button while you're thinking about it. Thank you for that. And a big shout out and thank you to all my Pisces friends who reached out in the past to hit that old subscription button, turned it into that beautiful gray. Thank you for that. And you know, the question is, if, if the subscription button's still red, why is it red? <laughs> Seriously, I want to thank all my Pisces that have reached out and blessed me with donations. Wow, many of you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate them all, large or small. Pisces, if you bless me with a donation, thank you. And a big shout out and thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. I'm taking a minute right here and talk about some of the perks of becoming a member of Ramblin' Nation. Uh, one of the main perks is that now these days, I only read personal readings for my members. So if you'd like to uh, connect with me on a personal reading, the best place to start is hit that join button right there and then show up on Wednesday nights because every Wednesday night we have a tarot party here at Ramblin' Nation. I read cards for my members. I bring gifts to the party, T-shirts, ooey gooey soft and chewies. Winner, winner, t-shirts, Ramblin' Mike's Tarot t-shirts, little cartoon Ramblin' on there. I give away four of those t-shirts every week. That's 16 t-shirts a month. Also, I love to give away Tarot and Oracle decks every Wednesday night to my members at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, October the 7th, you know, tis the season. Going to be giving away the Halloween tarot. The one in the kit comes with the box and the book. And I've trimmed the uh, deck down. You know, I like to modify my stuff. It's a very readable deck. It's a very cool deck. It's a very fun deck. And also on the 7th of October at 5 p.m., one of my lucky members of Ramble Nation is going to get the Halloween Oracle which again, I've modified. It's an amazing Oracle deck. I love it. We do this every week. On the 14th, gonna give away an amazing tarot deck. The Tarot of the Vampires. Ooh, this thing's amazing. Again, I've modified it. This comes with an amazing book, um, Phantasmagoria. You can only get that book with this tarot deck right here. Uh, one of the best, uh, tarot books I've ever read, at least the first 58 pages. I've read those uh, 58 pages several times. It's an amazing book, Phantasmagoria. Going to be giving it out away on the 14th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Also on the 14th, one of my lucky members of Ramblin' Nation is going to get the Lucy Cavendish, Lost Vampires Oracle. So if you've been thinking about joining Ramblin' Nation, go ahead and do it now. Hit that join button. Should be right down by the subscription button. If there's not a join button on your device, wow, got the lover jumping out right there. These cards want to talk, Pisces. If there's not a join button, check the description area. In any of my videos, there's always a link to the membership page. All right, man, these cards want to talk. Ooh, man, that even came from another deck. Jumped all the way over into this deck. It's the lover right there. Let's see where this goes right here. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Terry Love Team, Pisces is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Pisces see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Pisces' highest good Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Pisces, cutting the deck. And if you're a regular follower of my channel, you know I'm gonna give you a nice full spread right here. Here we go, first card out. Eight wands, wow. The old lover right here, huh? You know, this is the one that comes prancing in right there. 
Hi, Pisces. Here's my cup. Oh, Lord, help us all. The, the waterfall starts crushing down. Kawoosh. Eight wands is Cupid's arrows of love flying through the air. At, at, a, at a minimum, this is a texting card with me. Could be somebody that's at a distance with you. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. It's an eight. It's about new beginnings. Let's see what crosses over top of that eight wands. The king of love came out here, Pisces. Look at this. Look at this. Maybe an age difference. Let's just get right to tarot right here. But the king of love, you know, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It uh, could be messages coming in for the king of love, but really I feel this is your friend's energy right here, you know, because this is the lover. This is the one that's always seeking love and then seeking love and seeking love, you know, because the king of love or the king of cups is somebody that loves you very deeply or has deep emotions for, we'll use those words, huh? but may not tell you how deeply they feel for you. You see the old king of love right here? They got one foot in the ocean of emotion and the throne is definitely up out of the ocean of emotion. And they're doing their best not to look at that cup sitting over here, you know, on the pedestal all by itself. <laughs> yeah, wow. Male or female, right? Wow, messages coming in. From somebody that's got some deep feels for you, Pisces. Here we go. Base of the spread. Oh, Lord have mercy. The old three of swords at the base of this story right here. The old heartbreaker soul shaker. Oh, the heartbreaker soul shaker showing up for you. You know, Pisces, if if they if they, you know, left some swords in your heart in the past, the old ramble, we're gonna do a little spiritual surgery right here. We're gonna shake these out. Are you ready? Here we go. Out, 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 get out of Pisces heart, out. More air energy right there, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go. Where's the story going, source? 10 of Pentacles coming out. In a love spread for me in that position right there, that talks to me about how they're feeling about you, how your friend is feeling about you at this particular point in time. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Home and hearth and security, ten of pinnacles, you know, the loving couple. There's the old hierophant right there, the wisdom of the years. Uh-oh, oh. baby's bliss running in the yard, the doggies. Loyalty. From the lover? <laughs> Ten pentacles, money in the bank. Home, hearth, heritage. What? What's happening with the lover right here, Pisces? Ooh. Ooh, got your magic happening with him right here. Here we go. Let's see. What crowns the spread? <laughs> the two of pentacles, huh? Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The old dance of change right here, crowning the spread. I would say it's with the lover right here, the one that insisted on showing up. Showed up from another deck, the Witch's Tarot, which we're gonna play with here, but it was definitely in the Tarot Illuminati deck and definitely jumped out. The old dance of change right here. The old juggler trying to keep themselves balanced. I'm sure the Pisces is trying to keep themselves balanced in this journey as well. Shows our two ships up on top of the sea. The seas are rough. The sails are tattered. But those ships have never really sank. And those pinnacles right there in the dancer's hands have never hit the ground because there's an infinity symbol around those coins right there. This is the dance of change. We got the old king of love, be they male or female, doing the dance of change. They're probably dancing around because, well, they may know that uh, they left some swords in their Pisces heart at one time. Hmm. Here we go. What do we got? What's happening? The Knight of Pentacles coming in in the immediate future. Uh, a lot of people, you know, they're pretty rough with this knight. Because he's slow moving, you know, I mean, slow. 
slow. Hi, Pisces. Uh, but this is the only night that ever crosses the finish line. What would the finish line be? Well, it would be 10 pinnacles, huh? Yeah, the quintessential universal dream, the little white picket fence and the big pink house. Ooh, this is a solid opera they're coming in with, one step at a time. Wow. All right, let's take a look at it. What do we got here? Oh, <laughs> Spicy's looking at it. Seven of Swords. Oh, sneaky. Oh, sneaky showing back up. You know, I'm sitting right there by three swords. I want you to do what's best for you, huh? Wow. Uh, <laughs> you know, because this is Seven of Swords. It's, you know, somebody. All right. They got three swords over one shoulder. That's because this person right here has a broken heart. Because of the two swords that are over the other shoulder in this picture. Because they live in the land of indecision. Always looking over their shoulder at the two swords that they left in the camp right here. You know. So, I mean, Pisces could probably feel energetically that uh, something's happening here with an old friend. Possibly somebody new. But, I mean, this is a heartbreak of soul shaker that's doing the dance of change right here in this spread. They know that... Uh, if they want things to go forward, that they're going to need to come in with a stable offer because obviously they know that they played Seven of Swords in the past. Yeah. Here we go. What do we got? Four Swords coming out. They definitely want to come in here with healing. Four Swords is about healing. But it can be about Pisces working on themselves, healing their heart. You know, the old Three Swords right here from old Sneaky. Hmm. Hence the three swords up here over our character, healing their head, their heart, spending time with source, whoever that is to them. You know, picking up this sword right here. This is a sharp sword. It's that ace of swords. It has the ability to cut things out of your life that no longer serve you for your highest good. I mean, energetically, this person could be feeling that uh, you're cutting them out of your world. <laughs> they don't want that, the old king of love. They don't want that. They know they need to change. They know they need to change their ways. Oh, they're going to come in here and give you a solid offer. What I can see right here. Um, If they've been gone for a while, I think it's on the 14th. Huh? It's that old Mercury retrograde coming in here. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, five of swords. Lord have mercy, man. You know, it's up here in the old fears position. Five of swords matches with the three swords, the seven swords. Classic uh, energy right here. Sacred masculine, sacred feminine. Anymore, if you ask old rambling, you know, sacred feminine energy is in this eternal runner chaser game that these two play for eternity. Old Sacred Feminine is becoming what we would call the runner. I don't think they're running all that fast because they would like Sacred Masculine to figure it out. But they're not standing around and waiting any longer. You know, Five of Swords is about that. It's about standing up, doing what's best for you, putting yourself up in the front of the card of your life. You may have put him in the timeout chair, probably so, and healing yourself. And, you know, that's when they always come back, huh? When you've gone in there and done that inner work on yourself. That's when they show back up. Here we go. Let's see where we're going. Hangman. <laughs> and this is the energy that's over top of the entire spread. It's Pisces card. You know. I see Source coming in here bringing Pisces down out of that old hangman tree. One way or another. You know, because Hangman's always about getting a new perspective and looking at things with a new light. I, I some they are, they are. That's for sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. Pisces may be content at just healing themselves right now. Definitely pulled your energy back, set yourself up in the front of the card of life for you. Probably put him in the timeout chair. Maybe even fired him. You know. I wouldn't blame you with this energy that they that they projected. 
but they're they're doing the dance of change you know and uh either way pisces is coming out of this hangman's tree with or without them that's what i'm seeing right here and that's the attitude that pisces had and that's you know that's when these uh people figure it out you know it's it's all about these journeys are about self-worth they're about loving yourself first and they're definitely about detaching yourself from uh, negative, low vibrational energy, regardless if it's a twin flame, soulmate, life partner, whatever. If they're if they're flying around in life at a low vibration and you're raising your vibration, uh, it's a natural separation. They're going to have to pick their vibration up. And here I see that they want to make an attempt to do that. All right, I don't want to get too technical with this. Yeah, right here. Six pinnacles coming out. That's about equal give and take. Wow. They know they need to come in with that. Yeah, right there, that knight of pinnacles. Let's take it one step at a time and see if we can uh, raise this vibration. King of pinnacles coming out after that, off of the bottom of the deck from the Terra Luminati. You know, they, Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's, there's a lot of Earth energy here. Uh, they may have that in their chart. But what I see right here is that they know that they need to come in with their best foot forward. Because hmm? the King of Pentacles is somebody grounded, stable, balanced. You know, the Midas touch with life as well. Hmm. They know they need to put their best foot forward because this this is, you know, this is where that king would live. I wouldn't say they're living in that world right now at all. Yeah, nine of wands coming out. That's the wounded warrior. Probably Pisces energy with all this right here. Been through the battle, expecting more of the same, you know. But what don't kill you makes you stronger. That's definitely with Nine of Wands. Always, you know, look look at the Wounded Warrior looking at all that right there, you know. Because it got that one wand of passion in their hand. You know, with, with the old wall of uh, passionate wands behind them, not much of a wall. <sighs> You know, because the, the wounded warrior is always about, well, one last push. Let's see if we can manifest something here. I see it. I, you know, and there's, there's, there's the king and the queen of love are here. Uh, definitely Pisces energy, the queen of love, the queen of cups, my healer, my empath, the one with psychic abilities, my dreamer, uh, she has this cup right here where she has all the gifts of the spirit in there. And these journeys are quite spiritual. Well, I'm telling you what, looks like this person, looks like Pisces is pulling this person up to a, another level of spirituality. But, you know, they have the, that cup with all those gifts right there. And uh, it could be contemplating, you know, I mean, this queen right here, she, she may have paid a price for these gifts that are in this cup that few know anything about. Mm -hmm. And she's not willing to pour that cup out for somebody that's not going to fly right, play right. Yeah, right there, man. Nine of Wands and the Queen of Love looking at the King of Pentacles. Who knows they need to come in with six Pentacles, equal give and take. In the past, I see them, Seven of Swords. This is how Pisces sees them. Old sneaky right there, the liar cheater, you know. One thing's for sure, if you're dealing with a Seven of Swords, the old liar cheater, if you're dealing with a liar, you're going to get lied to. This Queen, man, she's not dumping, she ain't dumping that cup out. Or a liar and a cheater. Uh-uh. This person knows that by now. Look, it's a judgment. Major Arcana, Major Life Force card. Judgment call for Pisces here. You know, because Gabriel's flying around, blowing the horn, causing somebody to have an awakening here. 
about the lovers coming about the grave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's a, a major arcana is all over the place right here. We got the fool. Somebody's going to take a leap of faith. Somebody's going to jump off the love cliff. I think it's the old king of love right there. They're going to jump off the love cliff here, you know. Got the little doggy. Look out! You're about to step off the love cliff right here. But the fools always will. I always land on my feet anyway. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. Geronimo, here I go. You know, they're getting their courage up. <laughs> Because of uh, three cups. And that's a card of happiness and joy and bliss. That, you know, probably is not in their life anymore. Because, you know, this old water card isn't probably in their life at this time. It is also a card of reunion. Somebody wants a reunion with my Pisces, who they left in a hangman's tree. Pisces have been very patient. Another major arcana, Sagittarius. Michael, the archangel with the two cups. The great alchemist flying into this spread right here. The blending of sacred masculine. The blending of sacred feminine energies. Got the chariot after that. There's forward movement between the dark ponies and the light ponies. The yin-yangers right here. Because somebody wasn't allowing the wild ponies to drive this chariot. Somebody was tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine, driving the chariot exactly where they wanted to go. But in the mundane, you know, this can say that there's movement. Eight wands, the chariot, three cups. Uh, they coming for you, Pisces. Yeah, they coming for you to make a solid offer right here. It's coming. Last card I'm pulling out of the Terra Illuminati is the Wheel of Fortune wants to show up. Jupiter, the planet of expansion and good luck. Jupiter went direct, finally, after five long months in Capricorn, uh, heading, heading towards Aquarius, that new world of uh, high vibration, new age philosophy. Uh, the wheel spinning here in this situation. Uh, that's uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Uh, this is Cancer, Sagittarius. Let me look at all these majors. Aquarius, Uranus, the planet of sudden change. There's Scorpio energy with the judgment card. And Pisces right there crowning the spread. May mean something to you, may not. Let's play, let's play with the witch's tarot right here and clarify this for my Pisces. Because, uh, well, you know, wild horses ain't keeping these people away no more. Because of all the detachment that Sacred Feminine has done. Sacred Feminine just ain't playing this game no more. It's going on long enough if you ask old rambling. And uh, the universe is in agreement with it right here. All right, what do we got? Eight wands and the King of Cups. Why are they in the heartbeat of this Celtic cross for Pisces? Oh, the moon card came out. Look at that. Oh, Lord have mercy, huh? Uh, the old King of Cups right there with the moon card, you know. That means to me they're nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof. They weren't honest with you. They weren't straight up with you, Pisces. You know it. I'm not going to I'm not gonna stand here and talk about it. Five swords, you know. But uh, there's a flame burning in their heart. And they're going to go down that old smoky trail right there, hoping that the sun's shining on the other side. I always see these wolves back here as sacred masculine energy looking down that, that old smoky trail. Now, now it's kind of like the coin is flipped right here. That's a Pisces card as well. Yeah, they're going to go down that trail right there that, that they filled up with smoke. You know, they, they, they burned, they burned, they burned the house down from what I can see right here. Now they realize, oh my God, man. I burned the Ten of Pentacles house down. I need to go get it. Here we go. Three swords. The old heartbreak of Soul Shaker. Why is three swords here? Yeah, five pinnacles. Yeah, the feeling left out in the cold. They probably left Pisces feeling left out in the cold, but that is a mirroring energy with me. Uh, old soulmates that play with each other lifetime after lifetime. 
When one feels that burn of being left out in the cold, the other one feels it too. I would say this coin's flipped right here across the board with all uh, these readings that I've done here. I felt this energy for a while, but it's definitely, definitely uh, manifesting uh, where there is a, a complete shift right here. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> and the Queen of Swords on top of that. Yeah, no. Uh, they, they, they are nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof, boy, feeling, feeling the burn, being left out in the cold. They the want to approach you because, well, they want to live in the Ten of Pentacles world with my Pisces right here. Uh, but the Queen of Swords is, you know, somebody that they may feel is cold and detached on the outside, but shh, I know the truth. Uh, the Queen of Swords is ooey gooey, soft and chewy on the inside, you know. All she wants is the truth because probably didn't get a lot of that with seven of swords and five swords and three swords. And she does have her hand reached out right there. Like, um, you can approach, uh, approach gently. Those are eggshells you're walking on right there. Because <laughs> she knows who's been painting her white roses red, you know, Alice in Wonderland. Here we go. The Two of Pentacles, the dance of change. The dance of change. Crowning the spread. Why is it here? Pisces. Oh, Six Pentacles. Wow, man. Did you see that? That thing flew out of there. Look. They know that's what they need to do. If, if Look at the, the babies, the bliss. You know, all fixed up, Sunday best, King of Pentacles right there, Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. They know that they need to come in here with equal give and take. I swear they realize which, uh, which hand they want to put the coins in anymore. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles in the immediate future. Why is it here? Because uh, the King of Wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You know, because the King of King of Wands gets up and goes and gets what they want. They want you, Pisces. You well, know, they're gonna come and and uh, pursue. Because King of Wands pursues. I'm telling you, man, the, the, the energies have shifted. That old runner chaser game. It's shifted here. You know it if you're resonating with this Seven of Swords. Wow, the world card came out on top of that after I said energies have shifted. You know, that's old cycles ending and new cycles beginning. A lot of, lot of readers, when the world card come out, they just be like, that's it's over, it's done, it's done, it's done. I, I can't say that because I have to uh, determine what the world card is about off of the cards that are on the spread before me. And the cycle that I see, see there's a cycle change happening. That was the last card, the wheel out of the, out of the Terra Illuminati. And the cycle that I see that's changing is Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, Three of Swords, and the cycle that I see that that they that that the wheel wants it to go in, and your friend is Ten of Pentacles, uh, the King of Pentacles, Eight Wands. The <sighs> it's a totally different change right here. The Chariot moving forward. The judgment card, the lovers coming up out of the grave. Wow, they want a whole new world. Oh, Sneaky wants a whole new world with Pisces. Your call, huh? Judgment card's here already. Because you're healing yourself. I don't want you giving your healing up to them, right? Don't let them come in here and steal what, you, what Source has done with you on this journey right here. Because it's obviously been a very painful journey. Three Swords, Seven Swords, Five Swords, and now Four Swords. Detached your energy from them. 
And here they come, you know, do, 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 do. Where's all that amazing Pisces energy at? I gotta go find it. Mm -hmm. Four swords right here. Give me some on four swords. Why is four swords on the spread for Pisces, please? Thank you. Yeah, the, the Princess of Pentacles. Hi, Pisces. I found this... I found this golden pinnacle right here. You know, the cornerstone of the Ten of Pinnacles. <laughs> Approaching you gently. Uh, but, but I mean, this is the Princess of Pinnacles, and there's that Knight of Pinnacles, and, and the fiery passion of the King of Wands. They're going to they're gonna come in, but they're going to be stable and uh, one step at a time with you, even though a boy is burning on the inside of them, man. Um, this is a communication card in the 3D. Eight wands. Um, hey, maybe we can go have a cup of coffee. Uh, you know, your call right here. Hangman, hangman, new perspective, looking at things like, mm, well, maybe we can go have a cup of coffee. Because of five pinnacles, I would say that both of these people miss each other. They do, man. You definitely put them in the timeout chair, though, didn't you, Pisces? With five of swords right here. And, 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 and going to be quick to do it again if they don't line up with these solid pinnacle movement right here. Rightly so. I would say they know that. They know it. Five of Swords. Why is Five of Swords here for Pisces? Thank you. Six Swords came out, yeah. They want to come out of these choppy waters, dare I say, that they created with my Pisces. They've been wherever they've been, learned a hell of a lot of life lessons. They want to take that boat over to Paradise Island right over there. Whole new world. It's your call, huh? Hangman. Hangman. You know, four pentacles came out on that. I would say that both of you have been holding on to each other with the heart chakras, but feeling closed off from each other. One more on this, please, for Pisces. Come on, what do we got right here? Two of wands, it's the crossroads card. You know, you're gonna hear what they have to say. Bottom of the deck, I got the strength card. It's Leo, may mean something to you, may not. Uh, it's about somebody trying to tame the beast on the inside of themselves, somebody getting the courage up and the strength to uh, move forward and, and, and at least communicate with Pisces. They're going to right here. They know they need to come in with the Ace of Swords, clarity and truth and communication. They have probably had an epiphany about a divine relationship here. They want to fly high like the eagle right there, but they know that if they don't, this queen's going to drop that sword on it again. Yeah. And uh, they've realized that, uh, you know, it's nine cups, man. It's wish fulfillment. Huh? You're ringing their bells right here. And, and again, eight wands behind that with the witch's tarot. That's reaching out. That's, that's communication. It's Cupid's arrows of love. Uh, because two major arcana right here. The high priestess and the wheel of fortune. They feel that um, the wheel is spinning. And that they are being led and guided by the divine to do as such. This is a Pisces card. It's a very high vibration card, is it not, my friend? It's a high priestess. They're probably having some kind of spiritual awakening. You definitely have because of this journey that, we, that I see right here in front of me. Get ready, Pisces. They don't want to be without you. They don't. Here you go. Let's play with the Mystic Moon on top of this. What do you got to add on this amazing spread? For Pisces, please. New direction. Look at that. I mean, that's a sacred feminine character right there. So, I mean, if you're sacred feminine energy, I would say that they can feel that uh, you're moving in a new direction. 
what I felt here the whole time, it's that detachment. When you finally get to that place of detaching, oh my God, where'd that amazing energy go? Oh, oh, I'm gonna lose my Pisces. Here we go. There's a new direction. Either way, I'm telling you, you're coming out of Hangman's tree here, Pisces. I love it for you. What do we got? Oh, I got a karmic partner right there. And, and the devil. And dark night of the soul. And fear. Wow. Uh, they look right there, six of swords. If there was a karmic, you know, three swords right there. And there generally is with these stories. It is what it is. I'm just a reader. Uh, they, it appears that they have let that go. They could be moving in a new direction from a, a karmic partner uh, that kept them bound up and in dark night of the soul. And then the fear of, of reaching out. You can see a hand in that picture right there in the curtain, uh, reaching out uh, for their Pisces right here. You know, the cycles right there, the moon card. Interesting spread right here. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, oh, it's right here, man. There's that third party. Look at them. The return, it's all dark night of the soul. And the recognition, wow, from Sacred Masculine. Because of the high vibration of my Pisces right here, man. Just flying high, huh? With or without them. Good for you. And this is really how this is really how you put these unions together. Now it's your call. What you're gonna do with this individual. I like it. I think I know what you're gonna do. One step at a time though, huh? Let's throw a love card out on this for Pisces. What do we got, love team? Oh, the old, the old worth waiting for divine timing card. It's, it definitely, I mean, it's part of this read, isn't it? More, please. I love you, Pisces. I want you to do what's best for you, huh? Got the wheel twice. Uh, we got the keep the open mind card. <laughs> Help us all, man. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And many times these old divine partners are. They're extremely alike yet extremely different from each other. Many of us know exactly what we're talking about. I like it, Pisces. Do what's best for you. One more. A honeymoon came out. Look at that. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And I mean, this is the season where I live where we celebrate lots and lots of holidays huh? for the next several months. As we go into a brand new decade right here, 2021 coming in in just a few short days. Saturn and Jupiter going into Aquarius in just a few short days. And either one of those planets when they make a transit, um, it's huge change. And both of those planets are going to enter into Aquarius on the very same day. I believe it's December 10th. Yeah, big, big, big change coming across the board here. And I see it with these readings right here. I love it. Honeymoon came out, you know. I enjoy the bliss of time together. I have to say when these divines play with each other and they, they play right with each other, you know, it's magic shit, man. They change the matrix and all that. That's what it's all about. What do we got right here? <laughs> the hair fan insisted on jumping out right there. Taurus energy as an overall. The the Pope of the Tarot deck right here. <laughs> shows our little shows our little spiritual friends back here in the David Bowie deck. Uh, looks like they're working their way up one step at a time to stand up in front of the Hierophant and possibly jump the old broom right there, huh? But he is a five. There's lots of contrast here. And again, Pisces, uh, the Wheel of Fortune spinning. And the Star card, great hope and great faith, the potential of your dreams to become a reality. Healing. You don't get the Star card unless you've been through Hellfire. And that was a Hellfire read right there. 
Pisces. I hope you got something out of this. No, I did. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.